Semester in high school. Josie Geller, you enrolled Friday. You are looking at the newest undercover reporter for the Chicago Sun Times. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Josie, do you remember high school? Josie, 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 Josie! So, you were a geek. Big deal. You get to be 17 again. <gasps> okay, feeling good. Are you sure you're 17? I'm 17. <laughs> of course. She's never been hip. Oh. She's never been cool. Here's Finn, Kristen, Gibby. What's up, girlfriends? Oh. And she's never been sexy. You will party with them. Until now. All you need is one person to think you're cool and you're in. You can't just come in here, be popular in one day. So let's hear it. I'm not Josie Grossy anymore. I'm not Josie Grossy anymore! Yeah! 20th Century Fox presents Drew Barrymore in a story about getting a second chance. I've waited my whole life to fit in and I finally feel like I do. To make a first impression. You totally ripped off my Malibu Barbie idea. Uh-uh, I'm Disco Barbie. I've kissed guys, I just haven't felt that thing. When you're my age, guys will be lined up around the block for you. You have to say that because you're my teacher. Actually, I shouldn't say that because I'm your teacher. Never been kissed. I think I'm totally in. I was so cool. Who is Miles Berkowitz? I'm a filmmaker. I came up with an idea to make a movie simply by combining my two biggest failures, my personal life with my professional life. How does he do it? I was gonna go out on 20 dates and I was gonna film those dates. Do you think that you're going to find love having a camera two feet from your face? What was he thinking? I would go out with you, but you're just not my type. I like more masculine. I had the connections. I was wondering if I could just, like, come on the lot for, like, 20 minutes. No. It's just that my problems were foreign. Is that a French accent that I'm hearing? Mm -hmm. And my mission was dangerous. Can I take you out? Oh, if you're really trying to find Mrs. Wright, would you really wear green and red together? Meet a man who knows no fear. A man who'll go anywhere and do anything. Say hi. No. To find true love. Yell hi, yell hi. Over there, when they come by, not when they pass. You don't know what your type is, but you know that I'm not it. Yes. 20 dates. So real, you think it's fiction. If you don't get any women, you'll never see your parents again.
you're invited to discover that all it takes is one hot night. Am not I thy lord? Then I must be thy lady. Four mixed-up lovers. I love thee. By my life, I do. I say I love thee more than he can do. One mischievous fairy. <laughs> One big jackass. <laughs> and a forest full of fools. <laughs> to the bottom of love. Thou art as wise as thou art beautiful. <laughs> Rupert Everett, Kellista Flockhart, <laughs> Kevin Klein, <laughs> Michelle Pfeiffer, Go with me. And Stanley Tucci. In the world's most magical romantic comedy. <laughs> Lord, what fools these mortals be. William Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. I have had a most rare vision. Just once, I'd like to make something really great. So just one bite is ecstasy. Amanda Shelton was pouring her heart into her work. Tastes like blue cheese and dirt. You know, when the right ingredients combine, the magic can happen. But when she saw Tom... Don't let that one get away. Sorry, but something is about to crawl up your pants. I think I can handle whatever's in my... Ow! Something happened. You. Oh my God, he's here. Do you have a menu that we could look at? She's perfect for. So she has perfect hair and perfect skin and matching shoes. My perfect hair. <gasps> what is she doing? What am I doing with someone like you? Amanda, don't you understand? Everything you're feeling is going into your food. It's irresistible. Now, two mismatched strangers. It starts in your mouth and then shoots down your spine and then just explodes out of your toes. Are about to discover. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to confiscate that. Where'd you get this thing? I mugged a 75 year old woman for these. Their attraction is magic. It's floating. Make it stop. I didn't do anything. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. That's not funny. <laughs> I gotta be in control of my own destiny. You are some kind of a witch. You think I have something to do with this? Oh, Amanda, if the broom fits, ride it. <laughs> my whole life was ordinary. And then we met, and these amazing things started to happen. I don't know if I need you, but I know I want you. It's just this Valentine's Day, you are invited to discover the magic of love. My friend told me this thing about men and sex. They think about it 238 times a day. It's ridiculous. It's a uh, sex thought about every four minutes. And yeah, yeah, it's, it's about right. Simply irresistible. I've been here 20 minutes. Right. From Mike Judge, creator of Beavis and Butthead, and co-creator of King of the Hill, comes a movie about people who go to work. <laughs> who are part of a team. And remember, next Friday is Hawaiian Shirt Day. Okay, if I could set the building on fire. Who respect their boss. We need to talk about your flair. Well, I have 15. 
15 pieces on. 15 is the minimum. Brian, for example, has 37 pieces of flair on today. <laughs> and a terrific smile. And need to escape. I don't like my job, and I don't think I'm going to go anymore. One of these days, I, I, I just I just kick this piece of... I'm thinking now it might be more fun to just get fired. And I've always wondered what that would take. Oh, Peter, listen. Uh, well, it looks like you've been missing quite a bit of work lately. Well, I wouldn't say I've been missing it, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a straight shooter with upper management written all over him. We're going to be getting rid of these people here. Mr. Samir. Okay, okay. Na -na Na -na Not going to work here anymore anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't been showing up and you get to keep your job. Actually, I'm being promoted. Thank you, Bob. This is a... It sucks! They're gonna throw you out on the street so that Bill Lumberg's stock will go up. Ooh, it's completely unfair. Inatech deserves to go down. We're just the guys to do it. Tell me about that virus you're always talking about. The one that could rip off the company for a bunch of money. I'm not going to do anything illegal, Peter. Illegal? Samir, this is America. The worst they're gonna do is they put you in a white collar minimum security resort for a couple of months. You know they have conjugal visits there? I might be showing them my O face. Oh, oh. They let you have sex with women? They sure do. Okay, I'll do it. Office space. I know you've been getting pretty depressed about your job and everything, and so I just wanted to tell you good things can happen in this world. I mean, look at me. 